Hey all, welcome to this Eredivisie Divisi League SBC guide to pretty decent looking cars in um, Bazour and Balbec. Um, I'll break them down as we get into it. So if you smash like, folks, it would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for following the channel and social media links as always. Comment down below if you're going to do this League SBC and if so, which player you're going to go for. And also let me know what packs and um, what you got from your packs. It's looking about. Um, between 150 200k at the moment to do, so that gives you a rough idea to kind of what to work with. Now, as always, not all the players necessarily want to copy, I've just tried to do it uh, for quickness and also quite a few of the bronzes you can easily, as usual, just slot in because most of this is usually bronze pack method um, quite freely. Now last year we had the problem with Utrecht and I think we may have it finally resolved, looking at it anyway. So that gives us a bit of hope, um, but we could have a new issue in potentially Sparta Rotterdam, because um, that looks quite expensive if you're an Xbox player at the moment looking at it, but regardless. Breaking down the packs, Ado Den Haag Jumbo Premium Silver Pack, Ajax is a rare gold pack, which is a not bad return uh, for the spend, whatever you have to spend. Is it Almar Premium Silver Players Pack, Emmons a Jumbo Premium Silver Pack, Groningen Premium Silver Players Pack, FC20 is a Premium Gold Pack, FC Utrecht is a Mixed Players Pack, Feyenoord Small Gold Players Pack, Fortuna Sittard is a small rare silver players pack, Heracles Amalo is a premium silver players pack, Pexwall premium gold pack, PSV small premium gold players pack, I thought we might have got something a little bit better there, um, Waljic is a small rare silver players pack, Herevin is a premium silver players pack, Sparta Rotterdam is a small rare silver players pack, Fatisse is a premium silver players pack and VV Venlo is a jumbo premium silver pack and then Willem Two is a small prime explorers pack. So just to kind of break down your spend is 40, 47, 55, 62, 67, 72, 76, 83, 90, 110, 30, 120, 125, 130, 37. About 100 we'll say about 140 to 145k, roughly give or take. So looking at your spend, we'll say of 200k and about 145k worth of packs. Breaking down the individual cards of Barbeck, um, 85 rate striker with 91 pace, 86 shot, 79 pass, 93 dribbling, 30 defending and 82 physical. 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, high um, rate footed, medium to low uh, attacking defensive work rates, 6 foot in height and obviously he is French so kind of linking up is not going to be the hardest thing in the world to do. Um, 92 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 78 attack position, 86 finishing, 92 shot power, 86 long shots, 83 volleys, 78 penalties, 76 visions, 83 curve and free kicks and long pass, uh, short pass, 62 long pass, 82 curve, 93 agility, 82 balance, 91 reactions, 93 ball control, 96 dribbling, 80 composure, 66 heading, 51 defending accuracy, 83 jumping, 80 stamina and strength and 83 aggression. So we've kind of just done kind of like universal, like universal stats for some boosts. So looking at it, I would say Hawk might be his best chem style if you want just a little bit more extra pace. And obviously you kind of want to improve that shooting. So you might see folk go marksman, sniper, um, those type of dead eye. Something that just boosts up the shooting, but also try and give like maybe the physical a big boost as well. Like I would imagine he is very usable, but the problem is people will be a bit wary about his three star skill moves. That is kind of where I think a lot of the problems lie. Um, especially since he's got four star weak foot, so he can definitely do a lot of damage on um, both like both feet and like Bazur. He has an 84 rated card, Batiste Dutch midfielder. There was obviously, I remember like when he first burst on the scene, there was like a lot of hype about him and then he went from like to Germany and Portugal and now back in Holland 
and he's 84 raid with 87 pace, 81 shot, 85 pass, 90 dribbling, 64 defending and 84 physical. Right away you ain't going to use him as a defensive mid, we kind of get gather that just by the 64 defending. 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, medium medium work rates. Centre mid or cam is probably where you're going to be playing him. He's got 87 acceleration and sprint speed, 83 attack positioning, 73 finishing, 91 shot power, 88 long shots, 87 follows, 58 penalties, which is a bit of a negative. Like, penalties would be a bit of an issue. Um, 83 vision, 82 crossing, 92 short pass, 87 long pass, 80 curve, 88 agility, 88 balance, 90 reactions, 92 ball control, 90 dribbling, 86 composure, um, free kicks. Um, obviously everything's quite good but then it's still 85 despite 48 free kicks makes no sense when you kind of work out the numbers I'd be saying to myself really that's 85 because <laughs> there's only two stats over 85 yet free kicks are really really low so begs belief that one and um, how it works out mathematically as um, 85 um, 90 um, dribbling 88 um, with that, in a sense, that could, you could say this nearly the same issue because you've only got one stat over 90, two at 90, and then three just under 90. So, um, hey ho, it is what it is. With his defending of 64, 57 interceptions, 64 heading, 70 defense, awareness, 64 stand tackle, 60 slide. Not ideal, but we just have to work with it. 84 physical of 93 jumping, 82 stamina, 84 strength, and 82 aggression. In terms of chem styles, I would imagine people will look at maybe boosting his physicals, they may want to boost up the passing, they may want to boost up the shooting. So, marksman, dead eye, almost kind of chem styles that kind of spring to mind. And like, he looks very usable, he looks like a pacier version of like like a genie with an old dumb or something like that, that kind of, or like Van, like something of that kind of mould, like he's got pacey, like, like pacey attributes, he looks like he can get up, like up in like box to box that you kind of hoped for in a sense when you look at it, but I'm not 100% sure, like for 200k spend like 150, 200k, maybe it might push over the 200, maybe go to like 220, 240, and um, depending on demand of the SPCs, because the packs are like really good for this run. Actually, I'll actually admit they've they've kind of nailed the packs just about um, half decent. So obviously, it comes down to um, once everything settles, if we get good, bad, or indifferent. And I would honestly say. Um, like, it almost seems like this is a type of league SBC where if I was honest this is the one time I'd like other than the championship this is probably the one league I would happily do twice because Baalbek looks very usable because he's got he's a finisher that can control the ball beautifully I would assume with that, those kind of stats but at the same time he isn't in a desirable league, so it's like people will be like, oh, I've got to fit like Mbappe around them, but I can't afford Mbappe, then they might have to look at Lacazette, and then they might have to look at icons from icon swaps, and then they might say, oh, there's something else that um, goes against them, so you, you you say to yourself, is he really worth going for, and like, passing you don't have to worry about, it's pace, his shooting, his dribbling, and his physical. All of them look generally pretty positive, and it's just his weak foot. You've just got uh, sorry skill moves, which for me doesn't bother me because I can't skill to save my life. But it's his weak foot that I can work with because I can work with any of them. Like I know how to use them um, players um, accordingly. I don't so that way I'm always getting them on their stronger foot. So I would say some people will complain that these players are not appealing in the slightest. But when you fundamentally think of who else they could have went for, I actually feel they've kind of maybe nailed on some really good shouts and they've gave them good um, worthwhile upgrades. I think a few folk might have been thinking defenders as well which I can kind of understand but we'll just recap all the packs well if you've missed them but all in all I think Eredivisie is starting to look a little bit more usable as a league 
um, to do for like objectives and SBCs and have a team just for a bit of fun. Um, but let me know, folks, in the comments down below if you've done the Eredivisie League SBC, which player you've gone for, if any, and also what you got from your packs. So smash likes as always, folks. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jesus Legend, and I will catch you all later.